So my question is that it's five stamp. It's a dollar for five of them. Yeah. How much is it for? Like if I just bought both bins. Or just do it both bins for. I admit it. I admit it. I've been hiding a few things from you. Now, what I'm talking about is that there were some times over the summer when I went out sourcing to garage sales. I filmed a few clips and I just couldn't figure out a way to string it together into a full video. And then I was looking back, you know, I had some memories of garage selling because it's starting to get warm again. It's March right now. And I said, Hold on, I think I have those old clips still available. I said, maybe I could string them all together into one video of a bunch of different clips. And so that's what we're gonna do. Gonna start off right now with a little Mrs. Primetime. Morning, everybody. Here with the beautiful Mrs. Primetime again. She's uh, chauffeuring me around today because we're going to some uh, community garage sales. So hopefully you can find some good treasures there. We'll find out. So one question that I often get is if I ever pick anything up for myself when I go out sourcing. Not often, but one thing that I always pick up for myself are any Doctor Who items. For many of you know, that's my favorite TV show of all time. This is part of my Doctor Who collection. And so this book right here I didn't have and uh, now it's part of the Doctor Who family. All right, so this was a pretty cool piece. Be on the lookout for stuff like this, anything that deals with a major television network and especially anything that talks about the news because there's a lot of news junkies out there like myself that are really loyal to a particular channel. This is a vintage bag. It turns out from talking to the woman who sold this to me for just a buck is that she used to work as an executive at NBC News and so that's how she got this and she just didn't want it anymore. There's nothing wrong with it. It zips up great. It has all sorts of uh, nice little compartments inside. It's really neat. So, you know, looking online for comps, you just don't find something like this because it wasn't something that was sold to the public, just given out to employees. And so you got to go by what other items are going for in that same area. So there's an NBC News vintage luggage tag, for example, that sold for $35 plus six bucks shipping. So if someone's going to buy that, 
then I'm gonna at least charge $75 for this. And then in terms of this portfolio binder folder thing, um, this is not as nice as this piece, but it is cool how it has NBC on here with the peacocks. It doesn't say news on it, so that takes a little bit of the value down. On the side, it says it's an affiliate uh, service manual, so I'll probably start at like 25 bucks and see what happens with it. But uh, be on the lookout for these types of things because there is some nice value to them. So we actually still have this bag of jewelry available. So if anyone saw a piece that they were interested in, definitely let me know. Uh, one thing to tell you though, is with the peacock bracelet, the cuff on it was very loose. And so when Mrs. Primetime went to open it, it just couldn't be repaired. So what she did is she took the cuff off of it. So now you can see the back is just plain and flat. And so she's gonna take a pin back. You could get something like this at Hobby Lobby, for example. Now this one's a little too small, I'm just showing, for example. And you could just affix it onto here, like you could glue it. And so this will then become a really cool peacock brooch. So just think outside the box when things like that happen and you could still find a way to turn items like this into cash. Oh, how could I forget? Why don't we check and see what Daisy was up to this summer? Hey, boss. I got a tip from a local uh, friend of mine, contact of mine, that there is a garage sale going on right now with a bunch of vintage comic books. He sent me some pictures and apparently there's more sitting there. So hopefully no one bought them. I'm going to head over there now, see if we can pick them up. All right. Looks like we found the garage sale with the comic books so let's get a spot to turn
Hello, little buddy. Hello, little buddy. You're on the Primetime Treasure Hunter YouTube channel. <sighs> All right, so that was somewhat frustrating. Not a total waste of time because I did wind up getting this Zodiac sundial, so that was pretty cool. This is gonna clean up nicely, so a good example of how you have to look past the dirt and the dust and stuff. But um, the guy who was selling the stuff was not the guy who owned the comics. The comics belonged to his son, and you know he's telling me the per piece price, and I don't wanna hear from the per piece price. I wanna know how much for a bulk deal, uh, plus the other comic books aren't even here right now. The Sun has them somewhere. So I said, let's just try to get in touch with the Sun because he wouldn't give me a bulk price. I understand that because it was his Sun stuff, but bottom line is that the person who would have been able to make the deal for me wasn't there and they couldn't get in touch with him no matter how many times they called and texted. So uh, at least I put some money on the table for this and hopefully the son will call me back and maybe we could work a deal out. So we'll see. That's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Now, if you're wondering if the guy ever contacted me back about the comic books, nope. He just must not have been interested in doing a bulk deal or maybe they didn't give him the phone number. I'm not sure. But I always try to find a way to find a silver lining. And so at least I was there just in time to pick up this. The main reason I really bought it, besides that it is cool, and uh, it did clean up nicely, by the way, as you can see here. It's pretty clean, just a few light scratches. Uh, I'll list this for about 50 bucks, got it for $5. We'll see what happens with no comps on it. You know, who knows? Um, but I was trying to just show that I was willing to spend some money. So that's a technique that you could use it didn't work out in this instance. Again, we don't know why, but that's just something you could try. Now, uh, just a little tip uh, before I get into the other silver lining is that you see here on the back, we have these two screws. I would, when I ship this, and I would say this in my listing, I would unscrew this piece because this is a metal piece right here, but it's still thin enough that there's a risk of this snapping off because it's just such an awkward shape. So when you take these two screws off, then you could just put this in a bag, lay it flat, you know, bubble wrap it and stuff. And then that's not too much of an ask for the person who buys it. As to the other silver lining, well, if things don't work out at a specific place where you go and source, look to see what else is around you. And that's exactly what you're gonna see happen here. All right, so it looks like on the way back from that garage sale is another garage sale. So here it is. They've got tents set up and everything. So we're going to check this out and who knows, you know, I came out, come on, I'm filming. I came out for the comic book. So hopefully uh, maybe there'll be something here instead. So my question is that it's five stamps, it's a dollar for five of them? Yeah. How much is it for, like if I just bought both bins? What would you do with both things for?
Well, it all worked out because all of these rubber stamps plus the two cups for a grand total of $12.50. And there's a signature down below. So this has just been an incredible day. Wow. All right, so the way that I rationalized the day is that even though I didn't get the comic books, if I didn't get a tip to go out in that direction, then I wouldn't have found the rubber stamps. Now, ideally, I would have been able to get the comic books and the rubber stamps, but I'm not going to think about it that way. So there's lots of things that you could do with the rubber stamps. I actually have them uh, still available. Uh, so if anyone saw one or a few that you're interested in, then reach out and let me know. Um, I put them in the shed for a rainy day. So there's ones that you could sell individually. You could sell them in pairs. You could sell them by theme uh, and you could sell them by company. And there's lots of other ways you could break them up or you could try to sell like one big massive lot of them. There's all different strategies of what to do. There's definitely a little bit of everything in that big tote. Now, uh, speaking of a little bit of everything, there is an eBay store you have to check out that has a little bit of everything in it. In fact, it's known for that. It's Becky's Thrifted Boutique. Becky is a member here of the channel. Thank you so much for your support, uh, Becky. And uh, I'm gonna put a link to her eBay store down below in the description section, and it's also gonna be in the comment section. So if you browse around there and pick anything up, uh, just let her know that Primetime said hi. And if you're interested in supporting the channel with membership, just click the join button and check out all of the Primetime perks available. Until the next one, everyone, thanks for coming along with me. Take care.